So the thing I was most excited about on this trip was their food because I really love immersing myself in the country's culture and their way of life. And the best way to do that is through the food that they prepare. And you know, Singapore has so many things to offer in terms of their food because it's like a melting pot of different cultures. You've got Chinese, Indian, you've got Malay and all of these things. And the spicy, the seafood, Oh, chef's kiss. So whether you enjoy the classic destinations and going to the different spots that everyone knows, there are also new and reimagined ones that you've never heard of before and I'm sure that you'd want to visit. But regardless which path you want to choose, it's all amazing because they all lead to food. <laughs> Check this out. I've packed five pairs of shoes. Well, one, a pair of slippers and sandals, and then others are shoes. And then I'll be wearing like sneakers tomorrow, so that's six. And then I have an extra nice bag for when I, when we need to go out on like a nice dinner. Bam, clothes. Bam, color coded. And then underneath are all the pants. We finally touched down here in Singapore and I can't tell you how excited I am to be here because, well, it's beautiful, number one. And number two, what a great place to choose to be the first country that I visit ever in my entire life. I'm 33 years old, I've never been anywhere. Congratulations! Thank you! <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to say that I cried, but also I'm not embarrassed because I'm an emotional being and I'm proud. Welcome oh. to Singapore, right? Yes. You worked hard, you deserve this. Today is episode one yeah. and for this whole trip, this is the beginning of a great adventure because we will be taking you around with us. We will be looking at the classic Singapore uh -huh. spots that you can go to. And we will also be looking at the new and reimagined Singapore That's and right. all these wonderful things that they have to offer. That's so exciting! That's right. That's right. Imagine the classic, what was and still is, but and there's a reimagined part. Exactly. Which they, they put together, especially after the pandemic, and yeah. they made things really even more appetizing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be me and mom showing you the classic and the new. Mm -hmm. And today, we will start with food. <gasps> Wait, I'm hungry. <laughs> What's the best thing to do is you know stop over for some toast and coffee at Yakun. It's this iconic place. It's been around since the 1940s, 1944. Whoa, that's so cool. I know it has actually over a hundred branches around Asia. It's toast and coffee, and here we have some poached eggs. And actually, this is Ooh. perfect breakfast, right? Try the coffee. I know. Try it. Try it. It's so good. Mm. I like and the little spoons. Yeah, yeah controlled uh, caffeine. Yeah. We're just gonna do that. Ooh, Look at that. Egg. I love poached egg. Me too. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm like my mouth. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> that I just did that to make you make it lower. <laughs> <laughs> so many good things from their classic, never gets old go to foods like the Yakun Kaya Toast. Wow, that was such a great breakfast. It was very rich, very sweet, but like in the best possible way. And then you pair it with their coffee. Oh my god, just thinking about it now is making my mouth water because it also comes with a really nicely poached egg that you kind of dip your toast into. And then you imagine like it's kaya toast, it has like this coconutty, sweet, um, filling and like their toasted bread you dip it in the the poached egg and then you take a sip of the coffee but if you're looking for like a new and unexpected kind of food offering from singapore you can always visit mother dough bakery whether it's sourdough baguette or the warm buttery sourdough croissant those are definitely things that you need to put in your mouth. <laughs> but if you want to escape from the busy city, you can also visit Wild Seed Cafe and have some of their freshly roasted coffee, floral cakes, and pastries. So delicious. I 
don't think we could ever have enough coffee. So we're now here <laughs> at Wheeler's Yard, which is a bicycle themed cafe. Mm, I wonder mm. how their coffee tastes like. I know! <laughs> for we're bikes? shaking so much, but it's time for more coffee. I also want to check out their beans and what, what they have here for sale and yeah, basically what they taste like. And I want to see the aesthetic. Let's go. We're inside Wheeler's yard now. We got a table and we got some drinks. We already ordered some food. Um, so now we just have to wait. Yeah, a little bit hungry. Yeah, what are you having? I got a honey lemon soda. Soda. Yeah. Okay. And you? I got a sweet ginger peach mm. hot tea. Oh, I like. <laughs> no, Frenzo, we're here. He yeah. would hate me for doing putting this. I'd love you for doing that. Right? Same. Yeah. That's what you do. You fried food. Yeah. But lemon or in seafood actually. Yeah. Yeah, so what is what is what did we order again? Okay, this is squid. Squid. This is squid? No 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 no. I think this is squid. Squid. This is cauliflower. I see tentacles. Oh good. There you go. And this is cauliflower. Mm. And this is chicken. Ooh. Chompa chompa something. Chompa chompa. Chompa chompa. Chompa chompa. I wanna try the poly. Yeah, me too. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want? I want. Look, the batter is so good. It's a beer batter. You have this beer? You got the magic word. Mama good. Beer? That's the beer. That's very cocky, also. What is this? Try the squid. I love the tentacles. Delicious. Even more delicious with the lemon. Mm. Cheers. Try this, flour. please. And this, please. Mm -hmm. Cheers. That was a nice little food stop, wasn't it? I know. Food yeah. coma. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, I'm not so full because like you can't really have like full meals here I think or yeah I guess you can but it's really more like a place that you can stop by like in the afternoon if it gets a little too hot in Singapore or humid yeah. you can chill here it's a nice warehouse that's well insulated it has air conditioning and a lot of I bikes. just a lot of bikes I just realized it has a lot of um, Really nice little bike parts here. I don't know if you can buy bike parts, but it looks like you can get your bike fixed here I as even, well. I even wonder if it's if it's a bike shop. I mean, if they sell probably bikes. is. Yeah. And, you know, the nice thing about this is it's not just a coffee shop or a tea shop. Yeah. They also have beer. They have beer because they have food that are good pairings for the ah beer yes as they well. do so like the ones we ate canina yeah like the cauliflower the Perfect. squid and the chicken yeah so, yeah yes. and. And you bought something too. I got coffee beans. <laughs> so. That was a nice little trip. Yeah. Let's go. There are hawker places here in the Philippines, but it's always like a nod to the hawker places in Singapore. So it was one of those iconic, classic Singapore places that I've always wanted to go to. And here we were. Very busy, quite bustling, a very popular place for locals, tourists, like people come here after work, have a few beers, eat some of the really good food, and I just kind of imagined myself like if I were a local in Singapore and I don't know, maybe I want to go out with friends to drink or after drinking. So um, I guess the food I ordered earlier was, won't be enough for Ika and I after a whole day of of, of you know the flight and everything so tonight and right now we're adding satay to our menu to our dinner it's we got the chicken and pork satay you know it's it's like a barbecue with peanut sauce let's go let's eat some more oh my I got goodness more food. <laughs> look at the satay mm. 
nom, wow. nom, nom, nom. Are there three different sauces or oh, just like many of the same thing? Many because those are like uh, a lot of steaks. I love it. While you were gone, I'm sorry, I actually took one of the cuttlefish. It's okay. It's so good. You're so hungry already. <laughs> so let's eat it. Oh wait. Okay. Oh my god. It's a tangy. Tangy? No. <laughs> no, it's so good. You understand what? I understand now why they gave three. Because they're so used to people going back to ask for more, I bet. This one's mine. Okay. This one's mine. Wow. This is so good. That's what it looks like on the inside. Oh my god. Spicy. Yeah. I love it. Is that tofu? Yeah. And then they opened it up and put like stuffing? Mm hmm It's so good. You know, the nice thing about this hawker place, the Maxwell Center, is that both locals and tourists love coming here. Mmm. Yeah. Because yeah. It's safe. It's so authentic. It's like if you don't know where to go, just look for the ones with the longest lines. Yeah. Those are like the votes. It's so good. Can I have one of these? Of course! <laughs> Cheers. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, we have to try. What are you drinking? Guyabano, Guyabano with... Um, if I'm not mistaken, Guyabano with... Sugar cane. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you gave birth to me, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. I think that this would be the perfect place for you to end the night. Maybe you came from somewhere, then you're kind of hungry. You know how that night goes, right? You're, yeah. going, you're out with your friends, and after having some fun, y'all want to settle down and just like, you know what, let's eat something really good. Then you can have one of these. And this. <laughs> Two Chefs Eating Place, another Singapore reimagined dining experience. My stomach is grumbling and it's perfect timing because we're here in this spot that apparently not a lot of tourists know about or maybe wow. some do, but like it's not as like us, but it's not as common as say a hawker, which we've been to also. We're here now at Two Chefs Eating Place where we're going to try something that they specialize in. It's called Zicha which is to cook and fry. Correct. Yes. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so let's go eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> we have to eat with our hands. Of course. Know? No, yeah, that's true, that's true. We're yeah. going to eat with our hands. Yeah. Kinamot, kinamot. Ka. Kinamot in Visaya. <laughs> so if you're looking out for really unexpected dishes, this is the place that you would want to visit, trust me, because they have different combinations of food that you would never think to try. So the pork ribs I was telling you about earlier, they mix that with milk powder. Where have you heard that combination? Never. Is it good? It's amazing. Yes. Hi everyone, we're with Mr. Lam and he owns Two Chefs, this wonderful food eating place here in Singapore. And look what we have. Mr. Lam. A feast. Yeah, a yes. feast. We have a mukbang here right in front yeah. of us. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. I want to know how long have you had this restaurant? Uh, 16 years. Wow. Yeah, 16 years. Okay, amazing. amazing. It's amazing food and because you like to cook? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like to cook, yes, I like to cook. Because oh. I, my brother and me. Is that why it's two chefs? Yeah. Oh, oh there you go. There you oh, look at that. Yeah. Hey, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It goes, it goes together with, with yeah, all the yeah. food. Anything you eat with fried rice is good. It's really yeah. good. Let's start this. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner time. What is this? Fried bread. In case you missed it, this is milk powder. On top of ribs. <laughs> How did that happen? It's such a great berry. No, it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> when you eat it alone, it's very milky. You want rice? Mm -hmm. I'm sure everyone's hungry. So sorry guys. Everyone behind the scenes watching us right now like this. You're like... <laughs> this is the money shot. Wow. Oh my god. And of course, I gotta dip it. Okay. had the best food experience of my entire life. We could always let the table speak for itself. And also, my hair, because the food was so good, it 
came undone. <laughs> but truly, the experience eating here at Two Chefs eat, uh, Eating Place has been uh, so unique and one of my favorite experiences in my life so far. We had wonderful, um, we had amazing dishes that are quintessential to Singapore, like you've got the Singapore chili crab, but also we got to try the sit chap, which is their specialty here at Two Chefs. It's uh, basically to cook and fry, right? Yeah, and then the unusual pairings that they have to offer here, which would be the pork, uh, ribs and the milk powder. That's one of the best, for right? Me. And also this uh, sh uh, squid. What is that? Squid wrapped in bean wrapped curd, in bean and curd, then fried, and, and then with mayonnaise, mayonnaise and, and uh, pork floss. Pork floss. Yeah, I know. It's it's interesting. Well, you need to try it. Fried yam. Fried yams that are savory. So yeah. it's like a it's like a kamote cube, but it isn't sweet, and it's so interesting. It's filling. Yeah, it's so good. And if you are a foodie and you found yourself on this side of Singapore, you need to pop on over here and give yourself a feast. What is Singapore without tasting their food? Because yeah, exactly. they are known for that, right? Exactly. So come over here to Chefs and experience this for yourself. There. We're here at Smoke and Mirrors <laughs> right now, and then they say that some of the best views here in Singapore, yeah. this is the place where it can be found. And also, since it's around the afternoon time, after a full day of like fun, it's happy hour. Yes! Yay. Let's go! Let's, Let's go, go inside! Yeah, this one's mine. And this one's mine. Okay, cheers, mom. Cheers, Let's son. eat and enjoy the Singaporean skyline. Yes. But when we eat it, we have to look there. So we can enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, Careful ready? with the stick. Oh, yeah. Ready? <laughs> One, two, two three. three. <laughs> that doesn't look like Jose Rizal. Yeah, he's a direct descendant of Jose Rizal. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jose Rizal. Hi, um, JC. <laughs> That's a very nice vessel. Yeah. Wow! <gasps> it's melting the ice. Yeah. It's that strong. So it's that is. strong. It is. Cheers, Mom. Cheers, Mom. Thank you, Mel. Thanks, Mel. Cheers. 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 Cheers to you, too. Cheers. Oh. Yum. Quesadilla. Quesadilla. Thank you, Mel. Oh. And we'll have to squeeze the, le the lime. I love it, Sissy. Well, Smoke and Mirror is such a great place to just enjoy and wind down for the night after you've had like a long day and you get a panoramic view oh, yeah. of the city. Of the city. Cool. And their cocktails are perfect. Very good. So refreshing. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> in a really cute and very cool nook actually here at Clark Key. This is called the Level Up Arcade Bar. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Inka, this place reminds me so much of my younger days. This is what ah! the games we used to play with before. Really? Oh you God. know, it's like... It's funny that you say that because the owner of this place uh, actually wanted to create a space where it's yeah. sort of like a man cave that he could share with everybody. There which go. is why like, you can drink. And a lot of the games that you can find here are the yeah. games of his youth. He's probably my age. Probably, my maybe, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, so you can come over here if you're in the Clark Key area, and we'll show you what else you can do. Come, follow us. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>
no? I love the colors. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. I like this one. Yeah. So we're going home with this. I know. And this one also. I hey. won this over there at the claw machine. Would you believe? <laughs> so I'm really excited. I'm so happy that we were able to come here. We were able to check out Level Up Arcade Bar. How did you like the dancey thing? I kind of got lost there, so I'm just <laughs> doing my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> just... Mom is a hustler. She was like, oh, I don't know how to play this. And then beats me in almost every game. Yep. Good job, mom. This is retro. What do you expect? This is a retro arcade, and That's I had true. these games back in the day, so I still can relate. That's right? true. Do you have fun? Super fun. Good. Really good exercise too. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm sweaty. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I had the best time doing so many things here in Singapore. Out of all the classic and reimagined experiences that we've enjoyed today, which one are you excited to try first? This or that? <laughs>